Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is vanilla. I mean, it's super boring, but lots of people have asked for it. I would never personally buy vanilla ice cream in a store or a restaurant or a shop. You either a vanilla or a chocolate. That seems to be what people say regarding ice cream. I'm definitely a chocolate ice cream person, but sometimes a vanilla ice cream just goes really well with other foods, like pies and stuff like that, you know. Not English pies, you know, steak and kidney pie with ice cream? Mm. No, that's going too far. So, if you want to see how I make custard-based vanilla ice cream, stick around and we'll show you. So to start this ice cream, add in your milk to your pan and just turn the heat on nice and gently. Add in your sugar and here we've added our dextrose which has a stabilizer in it if you're going to use that and the light brown sugar. Now that light brown sugar just helps bring the caramel elements of vanilla flavor forward slightly. It will make it a little bit darker in color, but not too bad. Then add in your egg yolks. And again, this is right at the start. The, the milk isn't even up to any kind of temperature at the moment. This is the best way and safest way to make a custard ice cream base. Once it's all completely mixed in, you can actually start bringing the temperature up, finally adding in your skimmed milk powder. So once your base is up to temperature, again, we've got egg yolks here. So a lot of people like to take it up to 70 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, that is the temperature where your ice cream base will start to steam ever so slightly. No bubbles, but you'll see steam rising from your milk solution. At that stage, turn off the heat and just let it rest for a few minutes. Whilst it's resting, you can take your vanilla pods. Now the vanilla pods I've used here are really, really skinny and there's not a lot inside. So I've actually used two, but if you've got really nice plump vanilla pods, just go for one. Split the pods down the middle, take the seeds out and then put them in your custard base. Finally, add in the actual pods themselves and let it sit there just for a couple of minutes to infuse before you take it off the hob, again, when there's no temperature there, and put it in a container to chill in the fridge. Once your base is completely chilled, take it out of the fridge, give it one final whisk just to make sure it's fully emulsified and combined together, and then pour it in your ice cream machine as you would do normally. Once it's ready, take it out, put it in a tub, and put it in the freezer for a good few hours. And it's the next day, as if like magic, we're going to get some vanilla ice cream scooped up into the bowl and see how this one turned out. And there we go. So a couple of things to mention. I used two vanilla pods because they were really, really skinny and not a lot inside there. I, I did use vanilla pods in another ice cream before from a different supplier and they were really, really good. Big, fat, juicy, plump vanilla pods. Probably three times the size of the ones I got here. These, these are just supermarket. I mean, they're, you know, the supermarket's luxury brand, but they're not luxury at all. So if you get your vanilla pods from somewhere you know decent and they're a good size, just go with one. You can absolutely use vanilla extract. I would avoid vanilla essence. That is not real vanilla. That's made using vanillin, which is a very different thing altogether. If you wanna have a look at the differences between the different types of vanilla, you can check out our history of vanilla ice cream. I'll put a link in the description below. But now we're gonna try this and see what it turned out like. I don't want to come across unenthusiastic about vanilla ice cream. It is still, I think, the most popular flavor of ice cream in the world. But I guess when you are in my position, you can make any ice cream you like, vanilla ends up taking a back seat. But my wife rightly pointed out that it is a perfect base for other things. I probably wouldn't put this much vanilla in it, you know, maybe a vanilla pods, because that flavor can become quite strong and overtake other flavors. but. You could add a caramel swirl to this or brownie pieces or, you know, fudge chunks. You, you could do anything you like with this and you'd end up with a really good ice cream. And interestingly, Ben and Jerry's 
if you look at the base flavors of their ice creams, it's predominantly vanilla now. So if they can do it, then you can do it at home. You don't have to go for a super fancy flavored ice cream base. It can just be vanilla. So custard base, like I mentioned in the video earlier, add the egg yolks first. Ignore this tempering the egg yolks thing that is a historic method that is stuck in the dark ages. You don't need to do that. Add your egg yolks first when your dairy is cold. Get it really nicely mixed up and heat the whole thing up together. And you will see many times over I do that. You don't get any of that scrambled egg that if you're unsure of how to do the egg tempering will often result. You don't need any, you don't have any of those issues. You just don't. You can stand there, stir your ice cream base, let it come up to temperature. When it's ready, take it off the heat, pour it out, done. You'll have no egg pieces in there. So if you really want to make the best vanilla ice cream, this one is going to be right up there with the with the best of them. So give it a bash. Let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.